Hey, how's it going, guys? This is your boy Hazed, and today we're gonna be on 7.1.5 doing some Frost DK PvP. A quick little update: I'm sitting at 901 item level. Finally broke that 900 marker, and uh, sitting at about 904 unequipped. So what we're gonna do is take this into some PvP. But real quick, I'm gonna talk about some 7.2 PTR changes with Death Grip. Now it seems that the devs have actually listened to a lot of. Um, a lot of the feedback going on with the ability because as we know we did some tests in the past trying to see how much it's actually being slowed things like that and we found out it was actually slower with the new death grip and one of the initial problems was going to be you weren't going to be able to use it as an interrupt anymore because of the time that it takes to hit the target well it seems they're going to be making a change with that based on the ability used and the time used on the ability is going to be when it interrupts let's say of casting and then there's going to be a slight jump to the target what they did also say is they're going to speed up the time that uh, that chain shoots out and hits the target and pulls them back in. So it's not going to be as lengthy as we saw in 7.2. So it's definitely a good upgrade for us. It's definitely better than what we're looking at. But anyways, guys, I wanted to update you on that, let you know. Let's jump into some PvP. It's who we are, it's what we do. This right here staring at me is an alliance player. He has no idea what's about to happen. Oh, he pissed me off. All right, Mr. Warlock. You went off down the deep end and you got your ass kicked, Mr. Boo Crusher. Trying to gank lobies and AFK, so that's not very nice. We see what he's trying to do. He's hiding up here behind this pillar to shoot the lobies. And now I'm going to grip him down again. Oh, <laughs> guess who's angry? <laughs> it's not me. Looks like we got Deepwing Gorge. Now, since I hit that 901, I've been hearing that there's a cap at about 900 item level that apparently you can't get past in scaling when it comes to PvP. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that's true or not, so somebody down in the comments below, let me know if that is. Now, I'm going to come out swinging on these guys. I've got Zerker. I've got stuff rolling. I'm going to come out and just start wailing on this warrior right here. Now, what I'm also going to do is grip in. No, I'm not going to grip in that healer. What I'm actually going to do is chase this healer, hit him with Big Dragon as he's trying to run away, and make sure that healer does not get outside of our range. Because if he does, that'll be a major problem for us. Now, it looks like I'm actually doing, I'm doing all right at this point. I'm getting feared, cutting into these guys. And just trying to stand. I'm going to get feared here, definitely. I'm not going to be able to interrupt that. I'm going to actually put up my runic power as high as possible so I can get a heal off. Because I'm getting focused by multiple uh, warlocks right now. And I just got dots on top of dots ticking on me. I don't think I can live through those dots. Those are actually... it's a lot of dots. Alright, trying to kite back on this warrior. Um, I'm actually going to death strike on this guy. Hopefully I can get killing blow on him. Did not get killing blow. That's going to probably cost me a death. Uh, because I wasn't able to actually utilize that killing blow there. What I'm going to do is kite off this warrior, spam chains at him, and just kind of uh, get some distance between me and him, hopefully gathering up some runic power before I turn around and try and DPS on him again. Maybe I'll live. Maybe we'll live. Maybe we'll live. I mean, that's that's one way to survive right there. Woo! Death Strike actually saving our life for once. All right, going to put in some DPS on this warrior, of course, as he's trying to... Uh, knock this other guy off the flag i really do want to avoid being the main focus target at this point because without healing right now i'm like i'm like a fish out of water all right this warlock's trying to put in seed of corruption i'm gonna go ahead and focus this guy right now um i've got ams if we can't kick the fear or something like that i may end up amsing soon just to take off a lot of the dots it looks like they're healers in the back quite a few casters going on i'm gonna use that kick in that heal right there ain't no ain't no heal coming off with you boy uh, looks like he's actually blowing cooldowns. I've got dots ticking on me. I'm actually going to get focused by that warlock because I'm getting charmed. I'm cutting back so we can stay on the node because we push off out there. Looks like I actually got some heals. Let's do this. We got some heals now. There are so many casters out here. So many casters everywhere, matter of fact. Like, there are just boomies, warlocks, resto druid hiding behind a rock. Now I got warriors coming in on me. This is bad for me. I'm going to try it. Hopefully this rock gives me a little bit of LOS, but it looks like it may... It, I can't tell if that rock actually gave me LOS or not, to tell you the truth. But I'm going to keep up damage on these guys the best I can, I guess. There's so many casters out here that I can't push into the healer uh, to actually deal DPS on them. Because as soon as I do, they, they switch 
So I'm going to try and push in on this rest of Druid. Caught interrupt on that wild Druid. As soon as I pushed in, I got hit with Boomy Dots. Druid runs back into the casters, so I'm unable to push in with the amount of healing that I got at the moment. And uh, I'm going to keep just keep focusing on these guys. It's the best I can do at the moment. Um, we got this Boomy free casting on me right now. I got AMS rolling. We got a rest of Druid in the back. And it looks like we got a Boomy back there. They are both kiting out. going to switch to this Warlock that um, decided to stay in combat here. I'm feared. Catch an interrupt on that. All right. Killing this Mr. War Where you going, Warlock? You ain't going nowhere, Mr. Warlock. You're going to end up like that Warlock in the start of the video. Trying to keep that up. That Drain Soldier, he's just healing up over and over. Where is my tabard at? Why do I not have a tabard on right now? Give me that tabard. There we go. Back up and Adam looks like we got uh, mid definitely, uh, but top and bottom is probably theirs at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprout off to make sure we go ahead and take those. As for that, I don't, yeah, current fight set too awesome. Got Zerker. Let's go ahead and try and take bottom with these guys. Hopefully we'll be able to do it. It looks like we're also taking cart through south. Uh, so I don't know what they were thinking taking that through there, but oh yeah. Haze for the save. <laughs> this is bad. I'm, I'm definitely going to die because of this. Cutting down that warrior real quick. Throwing up AMS. Just trying to get away from these guys. Interrupting that I-beam. Even though I had up uh, some healing there. It looks like I got a couple healers with me. But I'm just getting focused by a ton of DPS. They're trying to knock me back there. Uh, Why I'm trying to pressure this healer. But I got some burst coming up. Throwing up defenses, I'm going to full heal off of it just in case. Putting in some pressure on this healer as I'm getting distance on him. Ripping that healer back in so I can hit him, of course, as I'm running. Oh! You shall not kill! They are just trying to focus me. I'm going to kite using that chain spam, using that chain spam. Warriors closing the distance. We need to keep focusing, Warrior, so we make sure we keep up our parry on him 100%. The moment we give him our back, he's going to do a lot more damage to us. Just trying to get distance, using my Hellstone, generating up more Death Strikes. Any target that's close to me. Looks like Demon Hunter's going to go down. Just focusing damage as we're kiting. This is a hairy situation. Demon Hunter goes down. I was hoping for the proc on that, because then I'd get a nice amount of healing. But no, that's not going to happen. It looks like I'm feared... Popping defensive cooldowns, trying to keep up some damage. I am just CC'd out, getting charged from every direction. Just keeping up damages. I'm kite, 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 kite. Go, go, go. I got, I got, well, I mean, I had speed increase. I threw it up. I actually threw up Wraith Walk, and it canceled it instantly. I didn't even think that was remotely possible, but apparently it is. All right, so finishing off this Mistweaver, hopefully finishing him off. I'm going to cast Dragon Ride out of Boom, take that dragon. See if I can get this cap on this cart. We got cap on cart. That was hairy. Like, a totally unintentional. Like, I'll never capture cart. That's that's not my job. But this time, it was definitely needed. Looks like we actually got some AP glory on there. So that's good. I think I got about uh, six more levels to go. I think I'm like level 47 on my AP grind, keeping up with that. Um, it looks like they're actually going to go for the cart. At least this guy is. Mr. Warlock over here. Nope, he's running away. He's heading up north. Looks like we got mid-south, and we're starting to capture more cards, so that's going to put us back into the lead. Ooh, that was that was hairy. That was a hairy situation. Also, guys, have you guys noticed the uh, crazy amount of lag in Ogremar? Has anyone uh, been in Ogremar recently? Have you guys noticed how crazy it is? Now, I don't know if this is affecting other cities like it's affecting Ogremar, but it is really, really bad at the moment. Like, you will get a, like, two to three second lag latency just standing in Ogremar for no reason. Not even based upon um exactly what's what's going on in the server or what your latency is going on because i have like 63 ms in ogremar and at the moment it takes about two to three seconds for a global cooldown to trigger after i proc an ability and uh, one night i was gonna get on and play and i was like you know spamming abilities and uh I, I just logged off. I was like, there's no way I can play like this. And I logged on the next day and it was doing the same thing. So I was like, well, I got to figure something out because that that cannot be happening. Like, that that cannot be happening. And then as soon as I left Ogremar, everything was perfect. Everything was fine. Now, I've heard rumors that it actually had something to do with 
Um, World of Warcraft, of course, how they uh, not combine servers but make things cross server. And apparently, what they what they did is they apparently cross servered uh, with an Oceanic server. At least that's what I heard. Now I don't know if this is 100% correct, but it would answer uh, a lot of the fact that we have about like a three to four hundred latency uh, base, definitely. Now you're wondering well, three to four hundred latency. That doesn't really sound like much. Well, in the PvP world. Um, if you have anything uh, above, I'd say, 100 latency, you're going to get about a one-second lag on when you use your abilities to when they activate. And as you know, as a full rotation, that can actually cause quite a bit of difference in damage and uh, survivability, especially inside Rated Arena. Now, I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to run in here. This is bad. Ah! If we die, we die. We might as well. Looks like I got disarmed instantly coming into combat here. Alright, I'm gonna focus this warlock and take that guy down. I'm just spamming Howling Blast because that's all I can do with Kermo. I'm gonna switch to this warrior. It looks like warriors are trying to focus me down. I'm gonna go ahead and use some slight cooldowns. Is that a healer? Yeah, we got healer over here. I'm gonna actually focus the healer. It looks like melee is still focusing me. I'm gonna pop AMS. And I do got my self heals coming up if I gather a little bit more runic power here. Getting off big heals on this uh, healer here. Trying to cap off. I'm gonna AoE this flag. Make sure they don't cap it. Uh, that's all I'm going to try to do. There's no way we're going to win this fight based upon their healer here and how many actual DPS here. There are two healers here, matter of fact. There ain't no way we're going to survive. At least I'm going to survive. But we kept them off the flag as long as possible. And that was really all we could do at that point. What is our damage looking like? Our damage isn't looking bad. We sacrificed a lot of damage when we uh, picked up that cart and decided to kite with it. Um, but that's okay. We got 10 seconds on respawn. We are absolutely slaughtering out this battleground. Like... These people don't even stand a chance. We got five seconds. Man, all three caps still. Looks like we still have bottom cap. They've managed to actually spin that flag long enough to allow some of the people that respawn to get back to the flag and allow them not to cap it or not allow them to cap it. That's totally worth it. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to kind of jump in, give you guys an update on what's going on. Kills weren't really miraculous. Damage is still kind of mediocre. I'm really not impressed right now where frost dk is after those last nerfs like truth be told i am not satisfied with what they did to frost i believe it's utter crap what they did and um really think they need to change some stuff in 7.2 because i really feel like they are screwing up a lot of classes at the moment anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video leave a like and until next time this was your boy hazed